The $99 second gen Google Nest Hub isn't like any smart display you've seen before. Not only is it a speaker for your music, screen for your Google Assistant needs, and a communication center, it tracks your sleep too. Yup, when positioned on your nightstand, the upgraded Google Nest Hub revives the Pixel 4's solely radar sensing chip to see how well, or not, you're sleeping at night. It's a little creepy and also a little fickle, yet you might forget it's there. Google's daily sleep sensing metrics include sleep duration, schedule, and quality in a timeline format. As your sleep profile grows, the Nest Hub will compare consistency night to night to offer actionable sleep advice based on the timeline of your overnight activity and guidelines from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. For example, if I'm coughing frequently throughout the night, my Nest Hub might suggest it's allergen related and recommend it's time to get new bedding. It can encourage certain environmental changes based on smart home devices such as evening lighting and thermostat temperatures too. Speaking of smart home devices, the new Nest Hub revamps the UI to make controlling all of the connected products around you a little bit more intuitive. On the Nest Hub, your assistant should also be able to learn your most common commands over time. The added mic for three total should make it easier for your assistant to recognize its wake words as well. Expect speedy responses and effortless integration with your Google Maps, Google Calendar, and other in-brand services. That includes YouTube, which is a key advantage Google's displays have over Amazon's. I can call up Netflix and Disney Plus shows as well. The Nest Hub Max's larger display makes it a better vessel for watching shows, but it doesn't offer air gestures like the new Nest Hub. That said, I had some issues learning how to use air gestures. You have to be fast and precise with your air tap to successfully pause or play video. You also need to be standing directly in front of the display for the tool to work. Still, I can only get air gestures to work about half the time. The final smart home feature worth calling out is support for Thread Radio. Thread is a protocol that enables future integrations across multiple smart home companies. The network isn't immensely popular right now, but as more and more companies offer cross-band compatibility, we're going to be heading in the direction of a more unified smart home system. As for sound, Google has boosted the base by 50% compared to the first Nest Hub, but it's not really one of this display's strengths. I wish the speaker was a little bit better, but uh, you really wouldn't buy the Google Nest Hub for the sound. Instead, it's an affordable visual and physical means for managing your smart home, communicating with Google Assistant, and more uniquely, tracking your sleep. Check out the full review of Google's newest smart display on our site. This has been Kate Kosich for Tom's Guide. Thanks for watching.